The Philippines takes center stage in this discourse. Despite common perceptions, this Southeast Asian nation appears as an unexpected contender for global affluence. Understandably, skepticism may arise, given prevailing notions associating Asian countries with comparatively lower economic standings, especially concerning income per capita. Traditionally, discussions on prosperity may conjure images of thriving Western economies. Yet, the Philippines, an archipelago comprising over 7,000 islands in Southeast Asia, defies such preconceptions. Positioned within the volatile Pacific Ring of Fire, it boasts geographical diversity and complexity. However, despite its economic skill, the Philippines remains categorized as a developing nation. This classification stems from a combination of factors, rapid population growth, modest income per capita, reliance on primary sectors like agriculture, elevated unemployment rates, and a dependency on exports of primary commodities. Let's begin to explore more about this. The Philippines' potential path to global prominence. Singapore used to struggle just like the Philippines does now, but look at it today, all shiny and successful. If Singapore can do it, why not the Philippines? The Philippines was once known as the Tiger of Asia. It was a pretty big deal back then, almost as rich as Japan and Southeast Asia. Manila, its capital, was like the Paris of Asia, with fancy stuff like the first airline in Asia and cool trains. But then World War II happened and things got rough. The Philippines went from being a top player to having to start over. Still, history tells us that countries can bounce back from tough times. Take the U.S., for example. After its civil war, it became one of the most powerful countries, even sending people to the moon. Japan had a rough time too, but managed to become super rich by the 1970s. Germany, despite being torn apart by wars, became a big player too. And what about India? Once under British rule, now it's got nukes and is one of the world's biggest economies. Sure, it still has its problems, but it keeps growing. So why not the Philippines? What makes a country a big shot on the world stage? It's things like having a strong military, lots of money, being good with technology, and having a say in how things work globally. Right now, the U.S. and China are the big dogs in town. With the Philippines opening up to the world and doing more trade, it could be one of them. There are tough things to deal with, like poverty and not-so-great infrastructure. But with good leaders, fixing those things is possible. It's like building a house. It takes time. But with the right tools and plans, you can do it. So, next time someone says the Philippines can't be a big deal on the world stage, remind them of history. Who knows? Maybe in a few decades we'll be talking about the Philippines in the same breath as the U.S. and China. And that is going to be something. Challenges and Progress the Philippines was one of the richest places in Asia because it had connections all over the globe, rubbing shoulders with big players like Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, and Brunei. Fast forward to the 1800s and the Philippines was on its way to becoming a tech-savvy powerhouse. Manuel Kazan even wrote a book called Someday Malaysia dreaming big about uniting these Southeast Asian nations under the Philippines' leadership. But the Philippines wasn't just looking outward. It had its eyes set on the U.S. market, becoming an American commonwealth. However, not everyone was thrilled about this arrangement. Some U.S. farmers weren't too keen on having Filipinos in their turf, leading to calls for independence. Despite the bumps, the Philippines kept chugging along. Even after World War II, it remained a force to be reckoned with in Asia. In fact, in the late 1960s, Ferdinand Marcos even tried to take on Malaysia, inspired by Quezon's book. From the mid-1960s to the early 1980s, the Philippines' economy was on fire. GDP skyrocketed from $5 billion to $37 billion, and GDP per person more than quadrupled. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. 
high global interest rates, economic slumps, and soaring oil prices threw some wrenches in the works. Still, the Philippines managed to keep chugging along, with GDP per person growing by almost 6% annually. One of the standout achievements is the Green Revolution led by Marcos, doubling rice production and turning the Philippines into a rice exporter. Now, let's focus on the present. The Philippines' economy is a mixed bag. On one hand, it's been steadily growing, though a bit slower lately due to various reasons. Before the pandemic hit, it was one of the fastest growing economies in Southeast Asia, expanding by 6 to 7% each year. And the Philippines' economy isn't just about one thing. It's a diverse mix of industries, manufacturing, services, agriculture, tourism, you name it. The service sector, in particular, is a big deal, with things like call centers, remittances from Filipino workers abroad, and tourism playing crucial roles. But like any good story, there are challenges to overcome. Infrastructure needs a serious upgrade to keep the economy humming. That's why the government's rolling out big projects like the Build, Build, Build program to spruce up roads, bridges, and more. And let's not forget about attracting investors. The Philippines is pulling out all the stops, changing rules and offering incentives to make it easier for businesses to set up shop. Plus, it's striking up trade deals left and right to keep the money flowing. So what's the bottom line? Well, the Philippines has come a long way, but there's still work to be done. To become a true heavyweight in Asia, it needs to keep the economy growing, ensure fair and stable governance, beef up infrastructure, and stay competitive on the global stage. The Philippines' vision for the future. Now, we'll peek into the crystal ball of experts' predictions for the next 15 years. By 2040, the Philippines has some lofty goals. They're aiming to have the biggest agricultural research setup in Asia. Plus, they're shooting for the stars, quite literally, with plans to launch their second satellite, set to land on Mars. The Philippines is shifting gears, moving away from relying solely on farming to putting more focus on services and manufacturing, and it's paying off. Since 2010, their economy has been growing at a steady clip of around 6% each year. Experts are eyeing the Philippines to be part of the tiger cub economies alongside big players like Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, and Thailand. Even though the Philippines is dialing up its industrial game, farming still plays a big role. In fact, by 2040, about 35% of Filipinos will still be working in agriculture, contributing a whopping 99.5% to the total economy. And they're slated to be the top rice producer globally, churning out 4% of the world's rice. Plus, they're set to dominate the coconut and pineapple scene, becoming the largest producers worldwide. The Philippines is revving up its automotive game, with predictions hinting at 1 million car sales by 2040. And they're not stopping there. More car brands are expected to join the Philippine market, revving up competition. In the world of technology, the Philippines is also making significant strides. Are you familiar with ABS? a crucial component utilized in automobiles by renowned manufacturers such as Mercedes-Benz and BMW. Interestingly, the Philippines is emerging as a key player in its production. And let's not forget about electronics. A plant in Baguio is churning out DSP chips like there's no tomorrow, powering Nokia phones and dominating the global market. When it comes to mining and extraction, the Philippines stands poised for substantial growth. Blessed with ample reservoirs of minerals and geothermal resources, the nation is positioning itself as a significant force in both power, generation, and mineral exports. From gold to nickel to copper, the Philippines boasts a rich array of resources, indicating promising prospects for its future development in these sectors. Shipbuilding, tourism, military strength, the Philippines is firing on all cylinders. And with strategic agreements in the South China Sea and ambitious oil exploration plans, 
they're poised to make waves on the geopolitical stage too. So, can the Philippines become a world superpower? Well, the stars seem to be aligning. With a mix of ambition, innovation, and good old-fashioned hard work, who's to say they can't? We invite you to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Your support means the world to us as we continue to look into fascinating topics. Thank you for joining us.